Norman stated that the sharp increase in borrowing has made Marape the leader responsible for more debt than all his predecessors combined since the nation's independence in 1975. Critics are calling out the government's handling of the country's finances, accusing Marape and Ling Staki of prioritizing wasteful spending rather than investing in economic growth. The opposition argues that the 37 billion kina borrowed over the past five years could have been invested in key areas such as job creation, particularly for the nation's youths, and development of industries that could position PNG as a global leader in exports of commodity crops and livestock. According to Nomane, the government's focus on consumption rather than strategic investment has led to missed opportunities. He said national debt now exceeds 62 billion kina, pushing the debt to GDP ratio to 52 percent, a level that Nomane and other critics describe as unsustainable. This rising debt burden is expected to lead to higher taxes on both individuals and businesses, as well as continued reliance on foreign borrowing. Additionally, Norman stated that the situation is exacerbated by non-contingent liabilities, sovereign guarantees, and state-owned enterprise debt, which could push the total debt to over 100 billion kina. Critics argue that the Marape government has failed to address fundamental issues such as poverty, inflation, and decreasing social and basic services like health despite high levels of borrowing. With the 2025 budget on horizon, Nomane is calling on shift in policy. He argues that the government must focus on cutting unnecessary spending, lowering taxes, and addressing growing debt crisis. Nomane is also calling on members of parliament to put the interests of the people first and he also called on Prime Minister James Marape to resign. James Guken, National MTV News.